on November 8th, 2016, the day that will live in infamy is probably one of the biggest catastrophes that happened to this beautiful country since September 11th, 2001, and that is the election of Donald Trump when he got elected president. And I will say this, from the bottom of my heart, he is one of the biggest pile of human waste. He is a waste of human life I've ever seen in my life. And I can't believe how many followers that actually want to support him. And it is, it's just ungodly how disgusting, how racist this country has become. I think, I think uh, Mar Martin Luther King Jr. would be rolling in his grave to see how divided this country has become because of his because of his administration. It's just it's really really pathetic. It is pathetic how people want to support him just because they're Republicans, and you know what? The, I'm calling out other Republicans too. They want to. Re, they want to get rid of the Obamacare, aka the Affordable Care Act, the the, the, the Affordable Care Act. They the reason why they want to get rid of it is this is because it's not called Trump Care, and what's disgusting is they just want to get rid of it because a, a black a person of color did that, a white pe a person did not do that. And this has something to do with Democrats or Republicans. I think it has something to do with racism, and it's just, just it's just downright disgusting and disrespectful to this beautiful country that foreigners found its people on. Do we not forget the people that stole this land from Native Americans, and that's why they're so bitter? It's just, it's just disgusting. It really is disgusting. It's just. And the administration, are, they're, they're a pile of puke, too. You, you got Mike Pence, who is a homophobic piece of crap. He, he has no redeeming qualities. He, he wants to be, you know, an evangelical Christian. And personally, I hope to God he comes out as being gay or bisexual. You know, being a sex scandal with another man. Not because I'm homophobic, which I am not. I support same-sex marriage and same-sex couples in general. I want to be humiliated with that reason because they'll prove that he's a hypocrite. Um, that's how much I despise Mike Pence. And when he did in Indiana do this religious freedom crap, I just think it's stupid. It really is stupid. It's just... Ugh, it's just infuriating how... God awful this country to come ever since this administration took place. There's been multiple people been fired too, like that idiot Sean Spicer. Everybody thinks he's cute now because he's making he's basically making fun of himself, like he appeared to the Emmys. But I'll tell you what, I needed a really good laugh after that horrible election. Dave Chappelle, you are brilliant. <laughs> Bravo, especially that Walking Dead sketch you did. During that, that, was, that was episode of Saturday Night Live you hosted, where you played Negan, and you was pretending to kill characters from the Chappelle show, that was one of the greatest Saturday Night Live sketches I've ever seen in my life. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please look up The Walking Dead SNL Days from Hell. Please, I, I, I encourage you to do that. It is hilarious. It, it is incredible. Good. Oh my god. I mean, I also can't stand his followers, like, that idiot bigot, that sheriff that he pardoned, that the moronic idiot, and, and they, they even got Republicans that turned on him, like, that one guy that called himself Morning Joe, that was, that's on MSNBC, he was a registered Republican, but he denounced him being a Republican on national television on the Colbert late night late show Stephen Colbert, he became an independent. He didn't trust Republicans anymore because of because of crap like that. The, the, the crap that the administration is pulling. Like you got that moron bimbo Sarah Huckabee just you know just speaking alternative facts. That's 
an infamous quote done by the idiot Kellyanne Conway who's just kissing Donald Trump's butt because of it's just he, he she's just a butt kisser Donald Trump just because he's paying her he's just paying her and pretty and Melania Trump she ain't no real first lady all she is is just a trophy wife she's just an accessory and and Ivanka Trump she's a mindless bimbo too and that's and I feel sorry for that little kid, his youngest, Donald Trump's youngest child, Baron Trump, who's only 11 or 12 years old, and I, I feel sorry for him, because I, I just pity that poor little kid, because he's in, he's just going to, oh man, I just feel sorry for that kid already, he's, he's being raised by a demon, Donald Trump is a demon, and I'm calling out all you idiots that, not just Republicans that vote for him, but all the Idiots that didn't vote to begin with. Or voted independent. And Obama said this back in November of last year. If you're voting independent, you're basically voting for Trump. And and he's just... Donald Trump's just using... He, he is not uniting this country. He is dividing it. We don't live in the divided states of America because of Donald Trump. And you know what? I hope this Russian investigation destroys this... I hope it destroys the entire Trump administration, if not the entire Republican Party, because these people make me want to vomit. They are racist. I condemn them. They deserve to be condemned. And he wants to go to the NFL just because they're protesting against the National Anthem. I mean, I'm, I'm a little conflicted myself, but it's just... Why, why should people... Why should people stand for the United States of America if you're divided? Because it's just... Oh my god. It, 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 it really infuriates me how disgusting this country has become. Martin Luther King Jr. is wrong in his grave. And so is our... Abraham Lincoln. He was a Republican, but I know he would not stand for this racist crap. I mean, he, I think he should rise up from the grave and just... Personally, beat the crap out of Donald Trump. I mean, I, I hope he, I hope they find guilt Donald Trump guilty of this Russian crap. He hired Russians to, he hired Russians to screw over Hillary, as well as Anthony Weiner. You screwed over Hillary too, you piece of trash. And James Comey, you're you're another pile of trash too. You useless crap. I mean, it's, this should have never ever happened. He just should never ever got elected president. And for those that still support him after, even after all this racist crap, shame on you all! Shame on you! That's all I got to say about that. Till next time! Ugh, I need coffee. I'm so angry. Nice coffee.